Is Modern Warfare 3's campaign really that horrible? That is the question that I want to answer today. And lately, we've been diving a lot into Black Ops 6, the story behind that game, the multiplayer, the zombies. But I wanted to take a step back and look at this year, specifically the campaign, because a lot of people have said Modern Warfare 3 is the worst Call of Duty game that has ever came out campaign wise. And I don't agree with that. But is it horrible? That is what I want to address. And it might be, but I wanted to take a more analytical approach to this. Look at it, compare it to other games and discuss why it was so hated. And to be clear, I think it deserves not all, but definitely some of that hate and discuss why. And by the end of the video, I am going to tell you whether I really do think it is that horrible or not. And the way that I want to do this is I want to essentially look at four aspects of Call of Duty campaigns that I consider to be important, starting off with the one that your girlfriend complains about the most, and that is the length. Now, before I take a deeper dive into this, I wanted your guys' opinions. And most of you watching this probably think that Modern Warfare 3 is a very, very short Call of Duty campaign. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. But before you watch the rest of this video, I want you to go down into the comment section and I want you to tell me what you think the average length of a Call of Duty campaign actually is. Go down, write it right now. I think it's really important for what we're about to talk about next, okay? You did it? Okay, let, let me dive into the next part. So looking at Modern Warfare 3, I am going to judge this based off of YouTube playthroughs. I know this isn't the best way to do it, but I think it's pretty good. So starting off with Modern Warfare 3, this one that we are looking at here is about three hours long, whereas the original Modern Warfare 3 is about four hours long. It just so happens that when I did my live stream of this campaign at the very beginning of the year, it was exactly three hours long for me as well. So I will say that Modern Warfare 3, the current game, is about three hours long, and then the original Modern Warfare 3 is about four hours long. The next one I wanted to look at was Black Ops Cold War, because this is another one that I thought was a little bit shorter. And from what I'm seeing on playthroughs, the most recent one is Hollow Points here. He did it like three days ago in three and a half hours, but some other ones are right around four hours. So I would say about three hours and 45 minutes. So 45 minutes longer than Modern Warfare 3. Now, my favorite Call of Duty campaign is Black Ops 1. And this one, from what I'm seeing, is right in, once again, around four hours long. So we see that number appear quite frequently. If we go into Black Ops 2, this one right around four hours long once again. Now, when I thought about this, I tried to think of some of the campaigns that I thought were long, one of which is the new Modern Warfare 2. And it appears as though this one comes in right around five hours long. The one that I thought was the longest was probably Infinite Warfare. And from what I'm seeing, this one comes in around six hours long. And then I wanted to dive into some that I thought were a little shorter. And one of those was Call of Duty Vanguard. And honestly, this one came in at like four and a half, four hours and 45 minutes long, which was way longer than I thought it was. Now, where things get really interesting is a game that a lot of people say has the greatest campaign of all time. The original Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4. Guess how long this one is? Three hours. The same length that Modern Warfare 3 is. Modern Warfare 2, the one after that, about three and a half hours long. So essentially, what I am telling you is the average Call of Duty campaign comes in right around four hours. If you add them all up, it's actually less than that, like three hours and 45 minutes. But four hours, I would say, is about the average Call of Duty campaign. So one hour longer than Modern Warfare 3. But I'm guessing that is a lot shorter than you probably wrote down in the comments. So an hour longer than Modern Warfare 3. So honestly, I don't think the length of Modern Warfare 3 is the problem whatsoever with why this campaign is bad, but it was an easy thing for people to complain about. It wasn't that much shorter than an average Call of Duty campaign, but everyone said this campaign was so short, too short, yada, yada, yada. But where I think the problem with Modern Warfare 3 comes in isn't that it was short. And I think the biggest thing is the next thing that we're going to talk about is memorable missions. I think the most important thing with Call of Duty campaigns is having memorable missions. When I think back to previous games, one of the most recent ones that we had is the mission in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, where you go into the KGB and most of the mission isn't firing your weapon. It's having a conversation with people, sneaking through the KGB headquarters and finding ways to complete your missions. Going back to older Call of Duty games, one of the most memorable missions I can think of is All Gillied Up. That mission was absolutely revolutionary. 
Binary, or we go to a more recent Modern Warfare game, we have Clean House. It was a very short mission. The mission was like five minutes long, but it was so cool. When you think back to those games, you immediately snap and remember those missions. Looking at Modern Warfare 3, honestly, there's not a single mission in this game that I went, you know what? That was pretty cool. And in fact, I think Modern Warfare 3 did the opposite, where half of the missions in the game, especially the open combat missions, were completely forgettable and didn't mean anything whatsoever. They didn't improve the story of the game. They didn't make you go, wow, that's cool. There was no part of this game that did that. And even going back as recent as Modern Warfare 2, the most recent Modern Warfare 2, that is, there was a mission in that game where you lost all of your weapons. You played as Soap McTavish speaking to Ghost over the con having to loot through a village and find scraps to be able to make it through to the other side and escape with ghosts. There were cool missions in those games, but Modern Warfare 3 has none of them. So I think that's one, if not the biggest reason why I do not like the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, but it, it doesn't end there because the next most important thing that I think is in a Call of Duty game, and this is the thing I talk about most, is story. So before I talk about Modern Warfare 3 story, let me tell you what I think is the worst story out of any Call of Duty campaign. That is Call of Duty Vanguard. And the reason why this campaign is so horrible story-wise is because the entire story doesn't matter. The outcome of it doesn't matter because the entire thing is telling you how there is a new leader rising in Germany and about 15 minutes after you find that out, you kill him. On top of that, all of these characters' backstories that you are learning throughout the entire game don't matter because guess what? Task Force Vanguard has one mission and it's to stop the Fourth Reich. Guess what? You do that in about 15 minutes. There is no important outcomes in the game, nothing matters, and the story is boring and pointless. It is the worst story out of any Call of Duty campaign. However, I do think the gameplay in that game is slightly better than the gameplay in Modern Warfare 3, mostly due to those open combat missions that we talked about. Now, speaking of story, something that I'm going to be doing over the next coming months before the launch of Black Ops 6 is I'm going to be playing every single Call of Duty campaign. Every single Tuesday, I will be playing one over on Twitch, which will start at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to check out my stream, the link will be down below. And we're going to be doing that tomorrow, starting with Call of Duty World at War. So check out my stream, link down below. Now, the Modern Warfare 3 story has good moments. There are moments in this story that matter. When we find out that the original attack on Verdansk was done by Vladimir Makarov, that is immensely important. When we find out that Makarov has beef with Soap McTavish, that is important. There are big moments in there. However, they don't matter. And why do I say they don't matter? Because of the final point, the ending. The ending of a Call of Duty campaign is really, really important. It's an ending. There should be an end point to it. And with Modern Warfare 3, the ending is horrible. The ending, Soap McTavish gets shot in the head, and then Vladimir Makarov runs off into the distance, never to be seen again. Why? We have no idea. We don't know what his next plan is, what his next steps are, and I even gave them a little leeway when they did this. And I said, you know what? Maybe they're setting up for a post campaign story with the various seasons that come. Maybe they're going to tell us a story of what Makarov is doing next. They didn't do that. And then on top of that, they gave us a post credit scene. This is the scene that's either supposed to do one of two things, give us some finality or on top of that, give us a what is happening next, kind of like a next time on this show. This time it made us shoot General Shepard in the head which I guess in a way is somewhat of a finality to his storyline, but he wasn't the big bad guy in Modern Warfare 3. It's just another example of how the story could have been good, but they didn't allow it to be. There was another Call of Duty game that had a much bigger cliffhanger to this, and that was Call of Duty Ghost. And they did the same sort of thing where we never got an explanation of what happens next, to the point where I made a video that was writing my own Call of Duty Ghost too because they completely left us hanging and I don't think they'll ever give us an answer to that I would love to be proved wrong by the way but they didn't do that so what we were left with was this giant cliffhanger and people were like okay now what and my worry is that this is going to happen again 
with Modern Warfare 3? What if they don't make a Modern Warfare 4 and the ending is just soap dying and that's it? Now to give you an idea, this is something that has been fixed in a previous Call of Duty game. We actually recently made a video on this where there was an alternate ending to the original Modern Warfare 3, where we see a mysterious character appear in the background, look at what's going on with Makarov and walk off into the distance. This would obviously be setting up a Modern Warfare 4, but there was a decision to not do a Modern Warfare 4, so they removed this cliffhanger ending and there was never any questions left, which ended up being a better ending for that original Modern Warfare 3. So I think as a whole, when you're trying to answer the question, is Modern Warfare 3's campaign that horrible? Where are the good things? I think there are good plot elements. I think bringing back for dance and explaining some of that, I think giving an explanation between Task Force 141 and their relationship with Makarov is good, but having a horrible ending, missions that are not memorable whatsoever, a campaign that is mostly shorter than every other Call of Duty campaign, all combined are what make this horrible. And don't get me wrong, I think this campaign could have been good. You take out the open combat missions. You make more emphasis on those important plot points. You don't kill a character for just no reason. And let's be honest, the character that should have died there was Gaz, but that's a whole story for another day. You make a couple of different decisions and this campaign that got chastised because it was too short could have been a good short story, but they didn't do that. They didn't do that whatsoever. So I don't think it comes down to the length of the game whatsoever. I think you can have a good three hour Call of Duty campaign. It just so happens that Modern Warfare 3 isn't that. So is Modern Warfare 3 that horrible? I think, yeah, but it's not because of the length. It's because of everything else that went into that campaign. But this is an opinion piece. I don't normally do things like this. Normally I just dive into the story, but I wanted to make this to hear what you guys think. Is the game bad just because of the length of it? Or is it specifically have to do with the gameplay elements like I discussed? Or did I miss something else altogether? Feel free to let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoy these type of videos, I can definitely do more of them. I would love to talk about how Call of Duty Vanguard is horrible for much longer, but let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on to stay up to date on all my videos. And as always, Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace. We are